Hello again, this is Jason from Empower PT. Today's session is about how to increase punch power. Now, in terms of increasing punch power, I think this is one of the biggest questions that boxers will ask me. How do I increase my punch power? How do I make my punches count? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an exercise which I have learned over the years does increase punch power. Um, you will find uh, many athletes doing things like Olympic lifts and things like that, which absolutely do increase punch power. But I would suggest that this one is even better. It's similar, but even better for increasing punch power. I'll explain why. And just to give you a little bit of first-hand experience of this, literally six months ago, I was doing pads with one of the other coaches at the club that I coach at, which is Cuban Boxing Academy in London. And when I say I was doing pads, I was hitting the pads. Normally I spend my time being the one holding the pads. This time I was hitting the pads. And I don't do this very often. And I noticed over the couple of weeks that I was doing this, that I wasn't hitting the, the pads very hard. And I'd forgotten about this particular exercise. And I realized, okay, let me go back and do this particular exercise. And maybe three weeks later, I've come back and I've hit the pads and I'm making them pop. So I know it worked firsthand and the stats and the data tell you that this sort of exercise will work. Oh, hold on. I'm going to use an example here and this is the science. I'm going to put something up on, on your screen so you can see it. This is endurance training. So basically anytime you're lifting weights or anything and you're training beyond 12 repetitions, it's considered to be going into the endurance phase training. Okay, so just remember that. So it might be a, a dumbbell. I'm doing it for more than 12 repetitions. I might be doing 20 repetitions. 30, 40, whatever, that is considered to be endurance. Now, if I were training for endurance, that would be fine. But this particular session, we're training for explosive punch power. So remember, 12 reps or more. Then there's something called hypertrophy. Now, hypertrophy, as a personal trainer, I cover off hypertrophy because sometimes I've got people who come to me who they want to shape their body, do bodybuilding. And hypertrophy is generally considered to be six to 12 repetitions to failure. And then the last thing is strength or strength and power. And that is the one to six rep range. So one to six repetitions before failure. So when you, you know, you're doing a big bench press and you get to five and you can't do any more. Someone has to spot you, you have to put the weight down. So just to give you an example, there's two types of power, generally speaking, you've got strength power. Now strength power will be lifting a very, very, very heavy weight. And, and lifting it up as fast as possible. And the best example I can think of that is weightlifting, Olympic weightlifting, where the guys do their clean and jerks, their snatches, and they explode one hell of a heavy weight, which is like three times their body weight or more, and they drop the weight. So it's a very heavy weight, one repetition. So we're staying within that one to six repetition range, but it's just one repetition. The other, we're looking for speed power. So you've got strength power, which I just mentioned, and speed power. Speed power would be the shot put launching an object as far as possible. So really getting a bit whiplash and firing it out there so it goes however, however many meters a shot put goes. And so if you liken the shot put to throwing a punch, what we're trying to do is punch extremely hard, extremely fast, okay? So I'm gonna come back now with the weights and explain exactly what we're trying to do. So what we're going to do to achieve this explosive power is we're going to do a single arm dumbbell press. The reason I say single arm, if you did it with two arms, you have to bear in mind that when you punch, you actually punch with one hand. With two hands, it, it, it doesn't quite give the, the connection through the waist that you're really looking for to punch. Because when you punch out in front, that's where you're going. We want to push it through our feet all the way up to the air. When we, when we do this exercise, it's one thing doing the Olympic lifting, it does work, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but I would suggest to you that because you punch with one hand, you want to do this exercise with one hand. So for those of you who are new to weights, this is what I suggest. Okay, so I'm going to pick a very, very light weight, a lot lighter than I would use, but just to demo the point. Okay, so we're going to separate our training into a phase cycle. So the end result of this is a 12 week cycle. Week one to, th week one to three will be your lighter weights, and this is for the beginners, week one to three, lighter weights, and I'm gonna explain exactly what you're gonna do. You'll have weeks four to, four to six where you go slightly heavier, weeks seven to nine where you go even heavier, and then weeks 10 to 12 where you go slightly lighter. So the exercise literally is, and I'll just pick a weight here, 
your dumbbell press. So just to make sure we're getting this right, and I've picked a very light weight because I'm demonstrating to the video. So let's go with this, right? Four kilogram weight. You're gonna do 10 repetitions. What you're literally gonna do is for a one to three tempo count. I'll give you an example of what I mean. So one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, all the way to 10. The reason you're doing it slowly is so that you have control of the weight. The fact that you can come down slowly means you know that you can stop this weight at any point. So if you're not used, into, used to doing dumbbell presses, you need to do it slowly and spend about three weeks getting used to the exercise. And that's what the first three weeks of this are for, getting used to the exercise. And you can, you, you know, if you're stronger than a four kilogram weight, you can go with something heavier. You go with a 10, 10 kilogram weight, so 10 kg, up, control down. Up, control down. Up, control down. I would suggest if you can do this exercise with more than 10 kilograms at a slower weight, you're actually not a beginner anymore. You can go to the heavier session and I will, when the table comes up on the screen, once again, I will explain it. But like I say, from sideways, up, one, two, three. Up, one, two, three. After you've done the 10 repetitions, you switch arms. Up, one, two, three. Up, one, two, three. Notice I'm very stable. I'm not really having to use my legs for this because the weight isn't that heavy. Okay, so for beginners, weeks one through three, that's the sort of thing you're gonna do. I'm gonna put a table up on the screen to explain it. So now that you're used to doing it from weeks one to three, you've got that muscle memory, you're gonna go heavier with the weight. But remember the tempo, the one, three tempo, the slower tempo, no more of that. It's a one, one tempo. I'm gonna explode up, come down, explode up, come down, explode up, come down. So now I'm punching a bit, okay? So I'm going with a heavier weight. So if I was able to do, let's say 10 kilograms on that one, I could probably go up to 14 or 15 kilograms, eight to 12 reps I'm roughly looking at because that sits within the hypertrophy zone. Now I know we say we're training for explosive power, but you have to get the hypertrophy zone out of the way. So weeks four to six is in the hypertrophy zone, right? I'm, I'm building myself up to the strength zone, okay? So what I'm looking for is, Bang, one, two, three, four, five. Next I'm using my legs. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have two more, 11, 12. So a lot more effort, switch around and use the other arm. You'll do that for three weeks. You're going to be doing it every two or three days to allow a bit of recovery. So then by weeks seven to nine, you're going to go even heavier. So if, for example, I've done 17 and a half there, I might do 20 kilograms. Same thing, pick it up, bang, 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 speed. Really push it up there, really push it up there. You're going for that eight to 12 repetitions. Your body's going to get used to it. So if you can imagine on week seven, you might only get nine reps, but we can't, you might get 10. You're now taking it to the strength zone. So cycle, I've called it cycle A, which is weeks one to three. You're going for the slower tempo. Then in cycle B, which is weeks four to six, you're going for the more explosive bang, what I just did a moment ago. And then in cycle C, which is weeks seven to, six, seven to nine, you're going for six to 10 repetitions. So you're, you're, you're bordering that strength zone of the six reps, right? And you're really exploding it. You're gonna to have to use your feet and really pump the hell out of it, okay? So this is where you get to the heavier weights. Don't go too crazy. I don't want you getting a shoulder injury, right? If you feel you're gonna get a shoulder injury, there's a twinge in there, just put the weight down and go something lighter, okay? In the last part of the cycle, which is cycle D, which is 10 reps to 12 reps again. So you're going back down again. So I'd go back to my 17 and a half kilograms and I go back to the eight 12 reps. And what you'll find is having just done the heavier version, the heavier sets in weeks seven to nine, 
in weeks 10 to 12, cycle D, you should find that you're exploding the weight that much easier. And you're like, wow, this, this really starts feeling nice. And in that phase, I'm telling you in that phase, when you start doing the pads, when you start doing the bags, this is where you'll suddenly start feeling your, your shoulders feel a little bit lighter and you'll find the explosiveness gets there. So let, let's summarize that again. Weeks one to three, cycle A. You're doing three sets of every exercise, 10 to 15 repetitions. At a tempo of one to three, that means pushing it up with a one and controlling it down with three. So one, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three. Three, one, two, three. And an example of the weight you might use there is four kilograms, right? For, for people who are beginners, absolutely, who, who haven't built up a basic amount of strength, okay? Then in weeks four to six, which is cycle B, once again, you do three sets again, eight to 12 repetitions, but this time the tempo is faster. So it's a one, one repetition, bang, 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 right? Three sets of eight to 12 repetitions. As the weeks go on, you may find you get the extra rep out. An example of the weight, if you were using four kilograms in cycle A, you might use seven kilograms in cycle B. Then in cycle C, which is weeks seven to nine, you can do three sets again, but this time it's six to 10 repetitions. Right, so it's a lot heavier. Once again, a one, one count. You're really powering it out there. Right, so you might go to 10 kilograms as an example there. That might be a little bit heavier, maybe nine kilograms, nine to 10 kilograms, but it's heavier. Don't pull your shoulder out, get the technique right. So that's for, and you, you should find that you get the extra rep out here or there. So, you know, where you started with six reps, you may get eight reps by, the, by week eight, and you may get 10 reps by week nine. Then, in cycle D, you're gonna put the weight back down to the same thing you did in cycle B. So going all the way back to cycle B, it's pretty much the same thing. So that's weeks four to six. Weeks 10 to 12 are the same as weeks four to six. You do eight to 12 repetitions again, a one, one count. But what you should find, you're dropping the weight back down to seven kilograms in the instance, this instance, is you, the weight should fly in the air. You should find it just a little bit easier like this. I'm actually quite enjoying this. And what you'll find is when you throw the punches on the pads, you will find that you're making them pop. Another example, we'll do the same thing again. Let's say your starting weight on, on cycle A was seven kilograms. Okay, so three sets, 10 to 15 repetitions, slow tempo and down. Slow tempo and down, seven kilograms, if that's what you're starting with. Then in cycle B, weeks four to six, the heavier weights, I've put 12 kilograms as an example. If you start on seven, 12 might be what you want to go with next. And this time it's harder and you've got to use your legs to really push it up there this time. And you're going for 10 to 12 repetitions. As weeks four to six pass by, you might find you get nearer to the 12 repetitions. So you've got the heavier weight. And then in cycle C, which is week seven to nine, you're doing three sets of six to 10 repetitions with a heavier weight. So if you did 12 kilograms last time, maybe 14, 15 kilograms. So, uh, you know, you, you managed to do 12 reps of the last cycle. So this time you're going back down to six reps, but it's a heavier weight. So it might be 14, 15 kilograms and you're exploding out. It's very heavy. You're getting lower reps. Okay. But you know, as the weeks go on, week seven to nine go on, you may get up to 10 repetitions. Okay, you do, you're doing this two to three times a week, okay? So you, 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 you will start getting better at this. And then in the final cycle, which is weeks 10 to 12, you're going back to eight to 12 repetitions. You're bringing the weight back down to 12 kilograms. And in that phase, you'll find, oh, wow, this should be getting a lot easier. And then suddenly you find, when you start hitting the bags and the pads, that it's popping a little bit more, okay? So that's an example there. So, so lastly, for those of you who already do a lot of weight training, who, who are used to going to the gym, who know what the shoulder press is, because you know I don't want to teach you to suck eggs, you know, you probably don't even need cycle A because you're already doing dumbbells. You don't, you're, not, you're not new to dumbbells. You could probably do cycle A weeks one to three and do a, a lighter weight. But I, like I say, I suggest if you're doing a lighter weight and it's 10 kilograms or up, you're pretty used to using dumbbells. If you're using 10 kilograms or more to do a slow tempo, 
version, I would suggest to you, you're, you, you, you're sophisticated enough to go on to cycle B straight away. So cycle B weeks four to six, you might as well go straight to that. So an example would be someone like myself. I'm not the strongest person, but I've been doing weights for years, so I'm, I can kind of pick something like 20, a 20 kilogram weight. For someone like me, I would say 20 kilograms is what I would do on that, that press. And I would be doing eight to 12 repetitions times three sets, okay? So eight to 12 repetitions, exploding it up there, really bending my legs. And then in, I go straight then to cycle C, which is week seven to nine. Bear in mind, I've missed out weeks one to three because I'm used to doing shoulder presses. And I'm going for six to 10 repetitions and I may pick something like 24 kilograms. So 24 kilograms. I personally wouldn't go any heavier than that. The reason I wouldn't go any heavier than that when I've tried, my technique has deviated and I've felt, oh, you know, something, I'm feeling twinges and injury and we don't want to injure ourselves here. So if things are too heavy, please don't injure yourself and then, you know, you, you put yourself out for three months. We don't want to do that. So for me, 24 kg, this is me, people are different, 24 kilograms. I would go for six to 10 reps, explode it up there. And as the weeks go on, I can get the extra reps out and get it closer to 10 repetitions each time. And then what I do on, on the cycle D, which is 10 to weeks 10 to 12, I go back down to repetitions, eight to 12 repetitions. In fact, I would suggest I'd probably be closer to the 12 repetitions quite quickly, principally because I've been doing the heavier weights in the previous cycle, okay? So I then go back to maybe 10 to 20 kilograms and that 20 kilograms really starts moving. I really start flying with it, you know, brilliant. This is exactly what I want. So I hope that's been useful. Like I say, you, you, this will take a bit of doing and when you do it for a while, you'll get used to it, which is why I say, if you're not used to doing shoulder presses, I would say definitely do cycle A at the slow tempo and get used to doing it. And then as the weeks go on, I'm as best as I can guarantee, you will notice a difference. Please don't injure yourself in the process.